Hey guys, welcome back to the 164 show. My name is Peter and today I want to share with you guys how to build and assemble a Koval case. Now I've got a few examples that I want to show you guys, but before we begin, big shout out to our sponsors, Koval Displays Australia. Their website is down below in the description. Now for the month of May and a little bit of June, we're running a 10% off your order on their website with a minimum spend of 150 Australian dollars just use the code da 164 show so whether you're looking for your case or an acrylic case for your box red line clubs or your carded red line clubs super treasure hunts short cards long cards double conventions whichever hot wheels you want to display on your cabinet on your wall on your bookshelf or on your side table wherever Koval Cases has the answer for you and the solutions to make sure your Hot Wheels look as good as how much you spent on them. Okay, let's begin. So one of the biggest questions that I get about Koval Displays is how to assemble a Koval Display case. And we're gonna begin here to show you uh, from a very easy to assemble case, which is for a single Redline Club or Super Treasure Hunt. And these, this one I've chosen is because it is the most popular and it also gives you a very good indication of how to assemble the larger and more trickier cases. So I've laid out everything in front of me. Make sure that you keep hold and keep track of all these parts as well. Uh, so all the acrylic parts and all the screws and pegs. Notice that I don't actually open up the pack of pegs and screws at this stage. Now, the, one of the more important things that people miss when they're assembling Cobalt displays is that uh, you have to remove the film off each of the acrylic parts. So there was, it, it, it took a long time for me to actually get this uh, plastic film off and you do have to give it a bit of patience and ensure that you do it properly uh, to make sure your Cobalt display look great when they're assembled. Now you also notice that I put a cotton glove on my left hand and the reason why I don't put uh, gloves on both of my hands is because that the pegs and the screws actually is very finicky. When you want to actually use your fingertips to actually put the parts together and put the screws and pegs in, you do need uh, your full um, capacity of your fingers. And the gloves are only there on my left hand to actually hold the acrylic parts in place so I don't get my fingerprints on it. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is just putting the screw in the very first peg. So on the sides, you'll see that I put the peg and the screw and I'm only finger winding it at this very moment just to make sure I have uh, comfortable with it and it's not on too tightly before I begin uh, be before I begin the process and just a little bit of a um, touch up with the Allen key there, but not too tight. So I'm not finished here as you can tell. Now. There is, um, as we're going as well, you will see the pegs uh, are being placed and I'm just making sure that I have everything there and I'm not going too fast as well. Uh, especially if this is your first time building a Koval display case, you have to ensure that um, you are doing this uh, nice and slowly and also properly because mistakes is very easy to do. <clears throat> I have all the parts here and I'm just finger winding it as per usual. I didn't put all of the pegs in at the beginning, um, just in, just because I don't need to put all the pegs and the screws in uh, necessarily uh, before I put the car in. I just need to make sure all the parts are held together. Um, and just in case if I do make a mistake, I know I don't have to unwind and undo everything at one go. Uh, there's only a couple of screws or pegs that I need to undo if I do make a mistake. So there's another tip for you guys as well. So don't need to do all the pegs and screws um, at the same time to save a bit of time uh, and frustration if you do make a mistake and, and also it's quite um, easy to disassemble as well so if you did notice that something's not quite right just disassemble it and just uh, make sure you just do it again follow the video advice as well um, another tip that I've just thought as well just when you're looking at especially this case there's a coval writing on the side make sure that is read um, sorry that's readable now I'm placing the car in at the moment. I'm just making sure there's no dust or anything inside the case before I put the car in. I'm, you notice that I put a super treasure hunt here, but definitely it does fit Redline clubs and convention cars as well. They all have the standard sizing of modern Hot Wheels. Now I'm just putting all the pegs inside. So I just put the pegs in on the sizes. Uh, I believe there was two pegs. 
like this. Yeah. So in this specific case, there's two pegs on the left and right to hold the card together. So if you notice that the card isn't sitting properly or is quite um, loose, it means that there's a peg missing. So just make sure that the pegs are put in properly and sturdily. So once again, I always start with the finger winding as well. I just save some time. Allen keys can be very finicky and I only use the Allen keys to really tighten up all of the screws. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned something, learned how to assemble your own Koval displays or Koval cases. Um, if you do have any specific in, uh, questions about Koval cases, please flick me a PM or just put a comment underneath this video. I would love to hear what you think about Koval displays. Thank you so much for watching guys. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. We're aiming for 1000 subscribers before the end of the year. We definitely can do that. Thanks guys. See you next time.